and welcome back to my channel and the conversion of a static spiral lamp to a color changing effects lamp in this video we look at the base plate the lamp as it was just a static warm white lamp in this video we see a bit about how they assembled the lamp and uh, possibly what I'm going to do with it. Right, this is the bottom of the uh, lamp and we're gonna have a look what's under this base plate. As you can see, they've hot snotted everything. So what's in here? And is it gonna be useful? later on. Right. All the screws are out. What have we got? Can't really see. Oh, there we go. We have a pair of cutters. Let's get rid of this heat shrink and see what the construction's like. Oh, it's those, is it those funny screw things that the Americans like? Or is it a crimp? It's putting up a good fight. As heat shrink often does. Oh, oh no, it's one of those horrible crimps. Let's get rid of this one. Oh. Yeah, it's just a horrible crimp. Can all go in the bin. Interesting thing, rusty screw. So they obviously haven't looked after the box, looked after the stuff. I don't know why it's got what looks like to be heat resistant sleeving on it. Try and make the leads as long as possible. I can get into that one. All right. That one. Take that off. Now, yeah. can we uh, that's not too bad. One's obviously got put in a bit better. But, uh, the next thing is, can we loosen the nuts? I don't like the way they've done it up so tight into this soft material that it's buckled. Oh, it's not wide enough. Trusty nut, what's it? Begins with an F, a nut clucker, but with an F. Yeah, that's the wrong way, isn't it? Lefty loosey, righty tighty. Loosen this one.
this is just going at an angle which is making it tight yeah There's the base off. And that frees up the spiral. And uh, just to work out what happens when you release these. see them can you see those screws it's black on black it's not very easy to see is it yeah it doesn't gain any Graunching in there. That is really bad. They really do let themselves down. Let's bring the uh, microscope on. The gouges and the quality of the workmanship. Let's just roll this round. Look at it. It's full of almost cutting through the wires. If you can see that, that's not very good. Pop that out of the way. Not going to do now is we want to take off those. And we need to peel off it's very very sticky I don't know why they put the hot snot on It's coming alive. Being a spiral, it's not exactly easy. But it's very sticky. I'm just hoping it doesn't break any of the LED joints. I might want to use this later. Something else. Oh, sticking to my fingers. Something awful. Wines, there is a lot of it. <laughs> I 
Oh. So I'm not sure what is the best way of curling this sticky tape up is it loosely on itself because <laughs> it's sticking to everything right I thought I'd have a quick look at uh, the LED strip before we go as you can see there's one two three four five six seven LEDs per cut section so it's 24 volts those and there is a resistor so if I bring in the microscope quick look there we can see it's a 220 ohm resistor uh, not very big one we can calculate what power that'll be running in a minute right so let's have a look and see what voltages are across each LED and the resistor when it's lit up let's move the microscope out of the way don't need that anymore we'll bring in a trusty meter now this is going to flare up when uh, we put it on so let's try and block off some lights so we've only got a few over here all right let's turn the power up 21 23 i got about 24 volts across there if i look at my supply leads you won't see them here but i'll stick them on there it's overloaded at 20 volts so about 24.8 so we'll back off a little bit there we go we'll just work it up there 24.1 right let's measure across one of the diodes try and do it without getting my arm in the way oh, these bright are so bright I can't actually see where I'm poking twenty point eight two point eight two volts across the diodes and across the resistor 4.3 so let's turn that off that's way too bright now move that out of the way so do all these voltages add up 2.8 times 7 19.6 and then it was like plus 4.3 wasn't it 4.3 23.9 yep so they add up so what's the power let's bring this in we've got a resistor i think it was 4.3 volts if i sit it may be wrong but it don't really matter and it's a 220 ohm Four point three divided by two hundred and twenty ohms. About nineteen. I can't. I can't the problem seeing the meet the calculator. So looking at that bright light, bright light, fifty four. So nineteen and a half milliamps. So we could do square the answer times two hundred and twenty. We're looking at about. 84 milliwatts so if you think about it, power is you can't see that can you power let's do it up here power equals i squared r or V times I. There's loads of ways of working it out. So we're looking at about 19 milliamps per segment. So let's just get that out of the way. Move this. Won't be needing that again. You see that strip drew close to half an amp. And uh, there's the two together. It's quite warm because they were curled up. Turn the meter off and then we'll bring in the we'll bring it up here uh, 
So we can see all the symbols. Must be, must can't be thrown in the bin. Must be put in a wee bin. It's close to a CE mark. Now, if you follow that round, does it overlap that? And back again. So it's close CE mark. Uh, double insulated, indoor use only. Oh, not quite sure of these two. And then we'll come up to here. Claims it's UK CA approved. Also says that the inner is positive, even though there isn't a plug on this. And um, 220, 240 volt, 50, 60 hertz. Output 24 volts, 1 amp, which is damn close to being maxed out. So, and they call it an LED driver. And um, that comes down. That comes down to a switch. Let's get the microscope out of the way. Which has some uh, screws on the back. And I think we'll just have a quick look at what's in here. Oh. oh, there we go. Mm, cheap and nasty on off switch. Quick refocus and have a look at what we're going to do. Look at this. Oh. Jeez, that was a lot of hard work just to get that out. Oh. One cleanish, brand new, and scratched faceplate. Or base plate it's pretty heavy a bit grotty it's like something glued in there I wonder if it's full of sand or something uh, I think if you can see those holes I am very tempted to uh, make a um, 3d print to go in there and hold it and I'm going to Wi-Fi this that might be a nice convenient hole for oh I've got one laying around this is a one of my bodge ESP2 boards ESP2866 so uh, you know I could get one of them to go in there and looking at it if I get one of them with an aerial socket, it's so obviously this is all metal, there's a hole there. Smack bang in the center. So I could mount a small aerial <laughs> up there. That'll make it look different. So that's the plans for that. If I do that, you see, I can then keep that there. I have the module behind, the wires coming out to the aerial and the wires coming out to that otherwise if I put the module in there with the metal plate on it I'd have no Wi-Fi signal and then There's a welded in piece of thread in there and that moves backwards and forwards. So we can obviously shorten the length of that as required. But if I bring this back in, 
slide that back on. Put the screws in so I don't lose them. not on that one. Will it go in or will I have to uh, clean it up? Yep, it's gone in with a hot snot. So I've just got to repeat that exercise with this one and uh, then it'll be done. Well, apart from getting the other cable was in. It's very awkward having this huge spiral. Hmm, maybe I should have put that on first. <laughs> but no, we'll just we'll just stick it in. It's very unwielding. But if I just stick it back in, in places Oh, I'm showing this because you can't really see anything. I'm getting all tied up with everything. It's too long for the bench. It's 1.2 meters long. Just so we can keep it roughly in the right place. And that's what the end's going to look like. So I'm going to cut it short there. And... Uh, the next one will be when the LED strips arrive. Well, if you managed to stick with me this far, well done. You know, it's really keen to see how it progresses. You know, click on the subscribe button, click on the notification bell to get notified when I post more videos, and please comment, comment away, and I'll catch you on the next one.